Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to bring you the OTK slaughter build or if you whatever you want to call it. All I can tell you is that this build is probably one of the best melee builds for OTK that you could possibly do. Okay. Um, we use it in the duo speed run and I actually also use it in my solo speed run that I have not posted yet uh, because we actually failed at Annihilation and my fruit didn't proc. So I did not get Rez back up when he slammed down, which I would have beat the record by at least a minute or something. So, uh, but uh, we're going to show some clips of this. And also I'm going to show y'all over here just so y'all can see exactly what it does. And let's go in and get to it. So of course we're rocking Ritualist with Miasma. Then we have Challenger with Juggernaut. We have this armor to keep our weight to light. So we can actually utilize the fly weight sting over here. You know, I see right here, melee damage with armor encumbrance is below 50%. Great. We get more damage. We're going to go in and skip over here. Then we got Lemire sensor, uh, mod duration by 50% and then mod cost by 15%. We're not, we're not too concerned about that. Uh, a honey crystal gives us 5% additional damage from each status effect. The target is suffering from now in a duo sense, it's going to be around five stacks of corrosion and then bleed, fire, you know, all of it. Pretty much all of it. Uh, at the same time, this is why we use the Atomic Fold because of the bleeding. Guess what? Boom, 10% crit chance. Great. Then we have Probability Core that gives us more crit damage by 30%, of course. Then we rock the Quilted Heart, which also gives us healing and negate stamina drain. So you could just keep swinging your sword. Jumping back, that's how we do that. You know, so we don't waste stamina, right? Uh, we have the melee critical chance, melee damage, and melee critical damage. Then we are rocking the Sparkfire Shotgun with Boar, which is one of the stars of the show. And we have feedback plus 10. Then we are rocking the Wrathbringer, which is the star of the show with Tainted Blade. And then Nebula, of course, for more stacks of corrosion with Fetid Wounds. Now, traits, we have... As you can see, these are the traits. And yes, MMD's build is he's naked, okay? <laughs> now, I understand that. I'm not comfortable doing that yet, but maybe in the future we'll be, we'll be ready for that, okay? So now, let's go in and show you a little bit of how it works. So technically, you want to pop Nebula, Miasma, everything, hit them with Corrosion, do Boar, Jump back and boom. See that? A massive amount of damage. That's 40k right there, y'all. And then you just recycle with boar. That's all you do. There you go. That is pretty much the build. So now I'm going to show you some clips with uh, in the duo runs that me and MMD did. And then I'm going to show you a solo clip. It's not as effective, but it does work pretty much the same way. So... Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Much love to y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, y'all. We had no items, nothing. And on that point, like after we couldn't beat it, at some point he messaged me, I, I got this Enigma bug and I can deal like 10,000 damage. I was like, oh nice, let's abuse it for the annihilation and so on. And after I figured out that he was cheating, I kind of regret everything, you know? Oh, he was cheating, bro? Yeah, yeah. So my first annihilation bet was cheated. I did not know about it. God damn, MD. Oh, God <laughs> dang, MD. Especially, like, bro, especially doing like, wow. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I need to get on that. Am I tripping or do I do not hit the hammer? Eyes broken? Yeah, he's broken. Get ready. Toes! Guys, let's go. We the got him. Toes, 
Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Perfect. Look at that damage, baby. 